Hello, this is numbers lesson two. In this, I will discuss recurring decimals to fraction with examples. Now, before moving to recurring decimal to fractions, I want to tell you how to shift numbers around the decimals. For example, if x is a number like this, three point seven eight nine. X is a number like this, three point seven eight nine. If I want to shift seven to the left of decimal what should i do can i say multiply this x by 10 i will get 37.89 why so because x was 3.789 it means that 3789 by 1000 point means 1 and 3 digits after points means 3 zeros if you multiply this by 10 you will get 3789 by hundred that is thirty seven point eight nine so very simple if you multiply a number by ten your decimal shift to the right or you can say that a digit seven shift to the left of decimal or simply you can say that if you want to shift one digit to the left of decimal you have to multiply the number by ten now if I multiply the number by hundred what will happen two digits will shift to the left of decimal number was 3.789 this will become 378.9 now you can see that two digits that is 7 and 8 are shifted to the left of decimal another example i will take if i say x is equals to 5 point sorry 5.2849 this is a number given to you if i want to shift three digits this 284 to the left of decimal what should I do I will multiply this number by 1000 three digits if you want to shift to the left of decimal you have to multiply by 10 raised to power 3 that is 1000 this becomes 5284.9 that will this concept will be useful while converting recurring decimals to fraction now method for converting recurring decimals to fraction is this first step is you have to shift first step you have to shift non repeating digits to the left of decimal second step is shift repeating digits to the left of decimal and after simple uh, calculation you will get your answer for example if a number is given let's say x is equals to 1.56 bar it means that 1.56 is getting repeated again and again forever now i want to convert this number into fraction because this is a rational number i told you in the previous lesson that recurring decimals are rational numbers if it is a rational number it must be written in the form of p by q so that that is what we are doing so x is equals to 1.56 bar this is 5 x 1.566 and so on <coughs> Now the method I told you that first step is to shift non repeating digits to the left of decimal. Now only one digit is there that is non repeating 5. So I will first shift 5 to the left of decimal. I told you if you want to shift one digit to the left of decimal you have to multiply 10 raised to power 1 that is multiply by 10. 10x you will get 115.6 bar that is 15.6666 and forever. Now second step was to shift repeating digit to the left of decimal. Now only one repeating digit is there. As you can see that only one repeating digit that is 6 is there. So I will shift 6 to the left of decimal. Again if you want to shift one digit to the left of decimal you have to multiply by 10 raised to the power 1. So I will multiply this by 10. You will get 100x is equals to 156.6 bar that is or you can say the 156.6666 forever now you can see that if you subtract subtract and 10x from 100 what you will get 90x now this and this will be cancelled 6666 minus 6666 becomes 0 this will cancel out if you step subtract so I will left with 156 minus 15. How this will become 0? See this 
you will left with only 16511441 so this way 141 your x will be 141 by 90 if you will solve if you calculate 141 by 90 with calculator try to calculate 141 by 90 with calculator you will get the same you will get this 1.56666 forever another example i am taking let's say x is equal to 3.125 now pause the video try to solve yourself then look at the solution the way i have solved now i will solve this question in a faster manner because in exam you don't have to take much time to solve such questions next is given 3.125 bar means 5 is repeating now how to convert this remainder to fraction very simple first non repeating digit there are two non repeating digit 1 2 non repeating digit and a non repeating digits i will shift to the left of decimals how to shift two digit to the left of decimal multiplied by 10 to the power 2 that is 100 so 100x will become 312.5 bar now 5 is getting repeated only one digit is there second step was shift repeating digits that is 5 to the left of decimal One digit you want to shift multiply by hundred multiply by ten so hundred into ten will be thousand x this will become three one two five point five bar this is equation number one this is equation number two two minus one you will get nine hundred x is equal to three one two five minus three one two that is two eight one three x is equal to two eight one three by nine hundred now this is your fraction. in the form of p by q it's a rational number r and stand for rational number so 2813 by 900 if you will try to calculate by calculator you will get same 3.125 will get repeated so in this we have to calculate in a faster manner another example could be like this in this 0.89 now in this case let's say x is equal to 0.89 i want to convert this into fraction now in this case there is no non repeating digits now first step will be cancelled only second step will be applicable as there are no non repeating digits so first step will not be applicable only second step you have to shift repeating digit to the left of decimal how many repeating digits we have we have two repeating digits we will shift both of them to the left of decimal now if you want to shift two digits to the left of decimal the x was 0.89 bar it means 8989 till infinity Two digits to the left of decimal. You want to shift multiplied by hundred. Hundred x you will get eighty nine point eight nine bar. Subtract ninety nine x is equals to this will cancel out the eighty nine x is equals to eighty nine by ninety nine. Now same way if you want given that x is equals to point seven nine two seven nine two whole bar is there. these are very easy again this in this case also there is no non repeating digits only repeating digits are there shift all of them to the left of decimal we want to shift three digits to the left of decimal multiplied by 10 to the power 3 that is 1000 so 1000x is equals to 792.792 bar subtract you get 999x is equals to 792 this bar and bar will be cancelled x is equals to 7 sorry 792 that was 792 so this will become 792 by 999 can you see here is the shortcut shortcut is applicable only when all the digits after decimal have a bar if a number is the form x is equals to point a b when the bar is there on both were digit digits you will convert straight away your answer will be x is equals to a b two digits we have that means 29 A B by ninety nine. Same way, if you have Y is a number like this point C D E, all bar is there. You will get fraction as C D E three digits after decimal three nines will be there. C D E by nine ninety nine. As I have sold uh, with examples, you can see. So in this way, I would tell you, 
I have told you how to convert this recurring decimals to fraction. Now let's solve some question on the first example I'm going to take is this. Let's say this is 3.86. This is example number one. 3.86 minus 2.49 if you want to solve this. Now what does this mean? This 3.86, 86, 86. Two ways to solve this such kind of question. Minus 2.49. 49 subtract it we will get 16 minus 9 is 7 7 minus 4 3 3 7 3 7 1 now 3 7 is getting repeated you will get 1.37 bar other way to solve this question is like this this one now 3.86 is very same can be written as 3.86 bar that is 3 plus now as I told you when bar is there in all the numbers after decimal this becomes 86 by 99 what is 2.49 this is 2 plus 0.49 bar that is 2 plus 49 by 99 by the same logic now subtract you will get 3 minus 2 plus 86 by 99 minus 49 by 99 this is 1 plus 37 by 99 you can again write like 1 plus 0.37 bar that is 1.37 you must know both the ways because some some in some option choices the option choices are in the form of fraction rather than in bar form you must know both the ways to solve like in this case example 2 i'm going to discuss in this case for example 0.2 bar plus 0.5 bar plus 0.7 bar plus 0.49 bar in this case the option choices comes like this for example this is 2 7 by 99 2 5 by 99 2 3 by 99 2 4 by 99 now you can see that option choices are not in the form of bar so you have to convert all of these into fraction then solve what is 0.2 bar? Can this is 2 by 9? This is 5 by 9 by same logic because bar is there in all the numbers after decimal. So we'll write the number divided by number of 9. So 1, this becomes 7 by 9. This becomes 49 by 99. If you convert this into fraction. Now 99 will be LCM. This is 22, 55, 77, 49. If you will solve you will get 22 plus 55 77 77 plus 77 this is 154 plus 50 if you add this become 204 you get 203 by 99 so 19 you can 99 203 by 99 now this is not divisible 203 is not divisible 99 so it is divisible up to 2. So we will write like 9, 198, 99, 2 za plus 5 by 99. This can be written as 198 plus 5 by 99, not 198, this is 2. 198 by 98 is 2. You will get 2, 5 by 99. That is your final answer. That is option number B. So in this way, you can convert recurring decimal to fraction and solve all kind of questions that can come in your exam in next class i will continue with more topics on numbers Thank